you know, because I've not built the model. Some times I don't know, people don't really understand. I'm like, yeah, I've built this thing from scratch. You know, I'm using other things that exist. Um, and I, I, I mean, part of it for me that's really important is these things are used by other people. So that, you know, this um, avatar could also be used to kind of, I don't know, sell toothpaste or could be used to kind of like in some kind of online sex work I don't know you know so it's kind of for me the important thing was that these images are kind of um this like banality of it like this kind of banal face of like consumer capitalism or something you know um and that was interesting for me like you know um what does that do as material what does that do if I work with that as an artist you know um and I think for me the thing was was about um and I was thinking about the time is like, what about if these images are also standings for our own refusal to, to, rep, to you know, of representation, you know, because as we know, like all these things have like a value and a currency. And I was kind of interested, how do we get out of that kind of, um, kind of constraint of having to present, I mean, you know, in how we're doing, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's a kind of conundrum in a way. So I was quite interested in the kind of idea of like, how could these images be useful? How could we kind of, you know, in some way, like work with them or like sabotage their like usage, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that was quite exciting for me. And, you know, and, and in a way I was kind of like linking that up to different forms of labor, like different forms of work, you know, and how, um, what we might be doing if we're like refusing a kind of labor of representation, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So that was kind of like the interest in starting to work with this stuff. These works in a way like feel very like performances or something, you know, they're very kind of um, performative in a way. And I, I think of the whole video as like a performance, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, she's in this kind of um, <laughs> weird performance with these with this other character and also I mean to go back to like the technology and like my um, you know my technical um, expertise which is not very good but um you know I was pushing to the limits okay what would a sick body you know what's available as a sick body what's available as a kind of what's the limits of how we can texture this model you know um, and I'm always like hitting the limits of what I'm trying to do and I think like also this space is like a space of fiction as well that is like kind of really important to me of like what's possible within this kind of space of fiction but I'm also limited by what I can kind of use what I can download what I can texture what I can animate you know so there's kind of these like limitations and what's the kind of tools so I'm interested in these like um forms of labor that are like not maybe like recognized within cap capitalism you know like uh, care work you know reproductive labor um and this idea of also like sickness or illness you know as a kind of refute like you can't participate in kind of um you know recognized forms of labor if you're sick you know so i was kind of in like we were talking about for this kind of logic of like okay if these images like represent something that you know um if we don't want to like play into that game of having to represent ourselves then actually what else would we be doing you know um well i think i, I, I think the thing um i was kind of dealing with a bit is um we were talking about for this kind of like banality in the images these images of perfection i was kind of uh thinking what it would mean for these like um cgi models to be sick to like not perform you know where uh, what happens if they're kind of half dead half made you know um so i was kind of thinking what would happen if those images themselves became, so start, it became sick or bruised or bleeding like it kind of seemed a bit ridiculous to make these kind of perfect images you know sick or bleed or um so that's what i kind of started to play with and then within this work it was um really this idea of, of sickness, you know, and kind of um, this idea of, you know, of performing um, a kind of refusal of performing and how that kind of played into, you know, thinking about this work. But I was also interested in this idea of, um, I've been interested in this idea of a virus for a few years, but like the history of how 
artists have worked with that and like amazing artists like Grand Fury around like the AIDS crisis particularly like in the US and um, and there's always like this metaphor isn't the right of like the virus and um, an image you know um, and how we even talk about those things so I was interested in that as a kind of thinking through kind of the the way viruses behave like almost like the choreography how it's a kind of like almost like a blueprint to how we might act or how we're agile or how we might invade something without being seen you know there's all these kind of different um kind of metaphors we can use but also like almost like as an embodied strategy right so i was interested in that while making these works and and particularly with um uh, this piece because I was really thinking I was kind of like I'm always like trying to um, I'm always like frustrated with the limits of the kind of work in a way so I was kind of frustrated that she had to be a she she had to be a, a, a recognized female you know because again mm -hmm. I don't like I can't model this like blob or so, you know and also the kind of limits to the kind of body are kind of within the image are kind of in interesting to me of how we like think it through ourselves